Welcome back to Sip Italian Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Tyreek Stevenson, corner for the University of Miami, the Miami Hurricanes. So earlier today, I put up a poll, you know, asking the community who they wanted to see, and I gave them a list of four names from different positions. Uh, Tyreek Stevenson was the winner in that poll, and I'm kind of glad I finally get to see or get to watch a guy from the college that I root for. Uh, even though there weren't very many bright spots on the University of Miami this year, the cornerback position was one of them. So let's get into Tyreek Stevenson's film. But let's talk about his stats a little bit. If you don't know, he started off at Georgia and transferred to Miami. But uh, as far as PFF goes, his stats, he graded at a 76.6 overall in 2022, uh, 72.1 in 2021, and a 64.7. This was at Georgia in 2022. Well, we're going to focus on 2022. Uh, is what have you done for me lately? Played in 11 games, 554 defensive snaps, 294 coverage snaps. Gave up 17 receptions with, with 40 targets. 17 receptions on 40 targets. It's not bad. It's less, way less than half. Well, not way less than half, but half is 20, so it's less than half. Um, gave up 353 yards, uh, gave up three touchdowns and two two TDs. Let's kind of get into the film of uh, Tyreek Stevenson and and see what he got. I, he was one of the few bright spots on the Miami team. So let's dive into the film so you can see that. Before we get into this film, I want to say thank you to all the contributors of the channel. Uh, thank you for joining the Patreon. As you can see, the Patreon's on your screen right there. You got uh, Brandon Bazell in the Wall of Fame. Everybody else a gunslinger. And I appreciate you guys for being a member of the Patreon. If you want to contribute and do so, patreon.com backslash sip to tally. All right, let's get into the film. Like the video if you like what you see. If you want to subscribe, please consider doing so. And if you subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when these videos drop throughout the rest of this 2023 draft season. Draft is exactly... 14 days away, so you want, want, don't want to miss any of the draft videos that are coming up soon. But let's get into this Tyreek Stevenson film. Number two, Tyreek Stevenson. Now, I, I want to preference this. Most of this, this is from 2001. The reason I did this is because I wanted to go find a good receiver that he you know, played against. I ain't wanted to be no slouch. So this is the Jordan Addison that was going bananas with Kenny Pickett as the quarterback. This is no slouch receiver. And so is he on Jordan Addison the entire game? No. But I got clips of him being on Jordan Addison so you can see what he can do and not just get some scrub and, you know, out there Joe Blow schmo. This is Jordan Addison. He's against this play. And I think uh, every play he's against Jordan Addison, I'll try to let you know. Playing outside leverage. In his hip pocket. No separation. Zero separation. On the curl route. Zero. Outside leverage. So giving you the inside, which Jordan takes it. In his hip pocket. He, Jordan breaks down. He sits right on it. Zero separation. Zero. All right. Let's go to play two. There at the bottom again. Nah. It, yeah, I think that's Jordan again. And Jordan tries to give him a little uh-uh off the line. It's like he's still playing outside leverage. No, it looks like this one's head up. Jordan tries to give him a little uh-uh to start with. He don't really go for none of it. Whatever his key is, he's doing a good job of it. He's popping the feet, staying square. Now, he doesn't really open up until Jordan like gives away which way he's going. He's square, he's square, he's square. Jordan realizes he's releasing outside. Then he opens his hips to it. Shuffle step. Look at the, look at the footwork. Don't clap the heels. One, two. One, two. Transition. Good transition. Now get in his hip pocket. Get in his hip pocket. Use the sideline as an extra guy. <laughs> like pretty darn good coverage to me. On one of the premier receivers that they say is going to be a first round pick. Or early second. Now at the top versus not Jordan Nelson. Nope, that's at the bottom. But again, same technique. Same technique. Guy tries to give him something off the line. He stays square. Still square. 
And now when it's obvious where the receiver's going, that's when he finally opens up. Now he has to play a little catch-up because he opened up a little late. But then, just using the angle to close it off. Using the angles to close close in on, on the receiver. And if that receiver is not, like, overly faster than him, he's going to close that angle a lot quicker, which he does. He's right back in position, right back in phase. And obviously the ball is not thrown to him, but still, if it is, he's right where he needs to be. The only ball that can get caught in this coverage right here has to be perfect out here somewhere. Has to be. I'm at the top again. This is not Jordan Addison. But look at the coverage. Look at the coverage. Same, the same technique. Same technique. Stay in square, stay in square. Now the receiver opens up, then he opens up. Puts that hand there to, to kind of get a little a little push off to kind of feel where he, where he is. So if he breaks, that hand's on him and he knows he's going to break out. Like if he sticks his foot in the ground right now and the hand comes off, he knows he has to plant and go. But that's a good job of pushing. Trying to work him to the sideline. Now he tried to back shoulder him. The receiver eyes got big or, or he realized the ball was coming. Now they're on his sideline, so they could be saying ball. And I don't know what if you know this or not, but some of you probably do because you've been around ball a long time. But a good sideline will help the corners out. So like if 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 they had to hand this ball off, the good the sideline would holler run. So if he dropped back, the, the sideline holler pass. And then, you know, if ball is coming, they just holler ball. So that you know, it's a little simple stuff like that that the sideline kinda can kinda help out and do, especially on your sideline. And he just sticks that hand up there. Sticks the hand up there, gets a uh, pass deflection, pass breakup, PBU. You know, had anybody been around, almost been a tip drill. And actually, their guy almost caught it too. This guy right here, 22, almost caught the ball. Let's go to the next one. We're at the top. Again, stay square till the receiver gives up where he's going, goes inside. Now he's in his hip pocket. In his hip pocket still. In his hip pocket still. Undercutting the route. Undercutting the route. So just just think if this ball was thrown to this top guy. He all he can do is the only open spot he can put this is in this circle right here. And then he gotta hope that the DB, I mean the receiver outplays the DB. Because the reason he's underneath, or the reason I think he's underneath. Because you're using, the, you're using this white line as an extra defender. That's what you do. You use the out-of-bounds as an extra defender. Because they have to catch it in bounds. And you use that to your advantage. At the top versus, this is versus Addison. And this is, to, this, on this play, he understands the coverage. Understands the coverage. He knows his, he knows his cover one, so he got help inside. So he get he playing outside leverage, playing outside leverage. And if you want to go in there, fine, fine. So then he kind of stays underneath it because he got a guy inside and over the top. Look at this, the safety. Look at the safety. Look at the safety right now. He looking at that. The safety looking at that right now. So he knows he got a guy over the top. So just play underneath and outside. Right in great position. Great position. Trust in the call and trust in your technique. Trust in, your, trust in the call and trust in your technique. We're still at the top. Um, I don't think that's Addison at the top right now. No, that's not Addison. And look, all that, all that uh, 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 that I love some, from time to time, but it needs to work. Didn't work here. Watch him stay square. Uh, 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 uh. It's nothing. 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 And granted, granted, dude, probably a decoy. He's probably a decoy, but still. Great technique. Playing your technique. Stay in square. Stay in square. Stay in square. And if the ball had been thrown his way, not saying he's going to stop it, but he's in position to make a play. And lastly, we'll end on this one. They got a compressed formation. And I think this is, no, this is Addison in motion. Got a compressed formation. He's going with the crosser, sees the ball, has the speed to close and break on it. Not only does he catch it, stays in bounds and gets some return on it. 
did a good job of trailing, 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 and closing. Closing speed and instinct. He granted the ball was behind a little bit, but as a DB, you want him to any kind of mistake, you would need to be able to pounce on it. Any kind of mistake. Because good offense gonna be good defense anyway. So if this is a perfect pass, Tyreek could have been in his hip pocket and dude would have caught it. But any mistake that the receiver or the quarterback makes, the DB needs to be there to pounce on it. And this ball was a little bit behind. He caught it, turned it over, and not only turned it over, gave his offense a little better field position. So this is my quick little two cents, my two synop two cents synopsis on Tyreek Stevens. Stevenson, one of the um few bright spots from the Miami Hurricane season this year. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I'll be working on the next guy on that poll pretty soon. Peace, y'all.